They don't need that. Just check. Okay. Just checking. Didn't want to get faked out. Oh, and Danem already with the Blood Falcon. He wants to win. Yeah, can Danem complete the journey? Can he can he go out on top? With the perfect weekend. The perfect weekend. Manoa Monthlies. You're welcome, Dan. <laughs> uh, yes. Hill's House and Smash Series. Can he do it? We shall see. All right, Smashville game one. Let's get it. Yeah, these, these two normally play on here game one. Pretty normal for these two. I wonder which character benefits more from this stage, Ness or Falcon? That's a good question, I think. Oh, that the platform, Dan likes to run away to the platform a lot when he's trying to recover if he sees you're like committing to like a down smash to the ledge. But this can happen, and Ness's back throw, not something you want to be messing with anywhere, much less the platform. Yeah, Ness's combos on this stage, if he gets the platform, it can almost be like Sheik. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. Especially if you keep DIing away. Smash out of smash out of nowhere. Cleaning up that stock. Insane stuff here from Van M. Oh, that back here from Kenny Poo will, will clean out that stock as well. Yeah. And not too much damage, and Ness can definitely make that up in a combo like this. That right there. 35. That's a lot of damage. And I'm pretty ballsy there, running straight up to the grab. Yeah, Ouch. Ken Kenny is really good at reacting to the, the down tilt trip. Like, he'll just straight up just mash it out, and then once it trips, he'll instantly react to it with a forward smash. He's, he's really good at that. Nice read there on the roll in. Covering, covering the neutral getup as well as the roll behind. Probably also covers the jump in the front part of the down smash. Can try and trap him here with PK Thunder. Thought I heard your control. Preston needs to play again. Dan M Preston, is probably in kill percent to uh, PK back throw. Non -top eight match. And that up air. Really strong. Pick a station. Is that it? Yes, it is. Whee! Back throw. PK back throw. It's so funny when Nest players like are fishing for the throw and just look at oh. <laughs> Dash grab. Get, Dash grab. get over here. Survival. So yeah, Kenny taking that fairly solidly. It wasn't a complete like stomp, but they're both at pretty. Kenny was kind of at a mid percent ish. Yeah, we'll see if adjustments are made or not. Danam likes counterpicking to the stage. This and Duck Hunt are probably his two favorite counterpicks if they are not banned. Yep. So far, Danim racking up a solid percent lead. Woo! Oh yeah, I haven't really seen Kenny use too much PK fire. Nice pivot grab. Probably because he's afraid of getting whiff punish, honestly. Yeah, if you, you can run up run up shield or just like run up perfect shield can be pretty scary if he doesn't space those PK fire as well. Falcon being the second fastest in the game and an insanely good dash grab. Doesn't want to get punished. Falcon punishes hard. Oh, fades back with that corner. Oh, he followed him down. And wow. All of Dan's work on that first stop kind of got erased right there. Yeah, he was playing uh, so clean. Now Kenny's just like... Uh, doesn't want anything to do with that. Doesn't matter if you're playing clean or not. Trying to use those PK Thunders, cover his landing. Yeah, way too far for Dan to go and spike at that range. Oh, what <laughs> the hell? Okay. I guess he wanted to punish, make sure he could punish and had a safe range. Would have been hilarious if like the PK Fire stuck his hands out when he got hit by the board switch. It would be, yeah. Let's see if Dan, Dan M can make up for that mistake. Oh! Kenny going on stage by mistake. Oh, I thought Dan was just going to commit. He could have spiked him from that range if he had jumped. He would have had to have jumped a little early, though. Nice ledge hop fair. I wonder, did the fair beat the jab out? Probably. I don't think Dan would have terminated the jab there. Yeah. 
Smart. Good recovery. Oh, good good reaction by Kenny, though. Kenny's really good at reacting to where you're going. The Oh, man, the platform is really working against Dan right there, not allowing him the back air like all he wants. Yeah, Dan, I'm fishing now. He tried to do his special Raptor boost. Yeah, this is not looking good. Tried to do it again. Grab. No, not yet. BF boys. Kenny just gonna play super defensive right now. Knows that he is definitely in range of dying. Here comes the harass. This is where the matchup is like. So the PK Thunder is like the darkness for Falcon in this matchup. Yeah. It just resets over and over and over if he hits you correctly. Oh. Too low. Or is he gonna. Didn't get to hit against the stage, so he doesn't get the reset. Yeah, but he's still in a pretty good spot. E even from that position, though, it would have been hard because the stage was right above his head. So the PK Thunder probably would have just went into the stage, if I had to guess. Okay, one stock to one. Anything can happen. We say this all the time. Yes, and, and Falcon as well with like the momentum riding power that he has. He really needs to watch his, his up airs on the platforms. Kenny does have a good uh, Nair out of shield, and his up air will kill him. Yeah, that, yeah, that Nair out of shield is there so it is. good for Ness. <gasps> Chance for Dan? No, oh, grabs a ledge. Good recovery by Kenny. Kind of established center stage here, but Dan with the perfect pivot jab. Oh, Dan hesitated. I don't know why. Oh, that's... Oh, oh Kenny hesitated nice. as well. It's like they're both kind of scared. They know anything can happen here. If Dan can take this, this game back, that'll blow the set wide open. Over that Nair, pushing him all the way back. Yeah, falling in with the PK. <gasps> oh my god. This is as, clo is as closer than you may think it is. I really don't like Kenny over overextending there. Oh, just go for it. Oh, no. Yeah, at, the, at a time like this, you kind of just have to put it on the line. And Kenny looking for that throw. Oh, that's almost it. Yeah, this just should be free. It should be. Oh, he lets him on. Why? Why a neutral get up? What the what? Did he buffer it? He must have buffered it or uh, something. Or I'm panicked. Sure. I don't know. Wow. That was... I'm really surprised that he got up into that. Dan is usually more aware than that, but eh. Last hit jitters, I guess. Yeah, and he, like, when you're making that comeback, you get so you get pretty nervous. Like, oh, I can, I can almost, like, uh, you really want it. Dan, I'm shaking his head. I don't like that. Yeah. When Dan loses that, like... Falcon confidence. Dude, Kenny just ran off the platform and threw out Nair. This is not looking good. <laughs> Danem's gonna need an explosive game three to, to turn this around. He's gonna need to really come on if Yes. Oh if he oh, had he finished that jab, he had no jump. If he if he had finished the jab. Of course into up B and that could've he felt ballsy enough he could have went and spiked him. Oh yes, for sure. Oh, PK Fire, if it lands, PK Fire can do so much in, in a lot of matchups. See, I really feel like Dan is going way too air mode. These platforms are not allowing him to do that. Yeah. He needs to just approach uh, horizontally. Oh, nice chase. I mean, granted, it's a little harder against Kenny, but... Ooh. Ah, that Nair coming through for Kenny. Oh, is that it? No, no almost. That would have wow. been a heartbreaker. Yeah, Dan is just not going for these uh, edge guards. There are a couple that were definitely within his reach. Yeah, good DI away by Kenny. Harassment. PK harassment. There's his double jump. Well, I tried to poke safely, but... This is honestly what's like causing the matchups to really go in Ken's favor, though. He's just allowed to live forever without any consequence. And I, I know as as Falcon, going off stage can be scary, but again, gets up into a fully charged smash. Dan, Dan is falling apart. I mean, if he was at a lower percent, he could have like rolled in to get the hit so he gets hit into, wow. the, into the stage, but that is a, a way too high for percent. He's oh, swinging for the fences swinging now. Swinging for the fences now. He could have down there. It's also possible that he might have killed himself if he fast fell it. So we'll see. See if the, that... See if he can bring this back. Kenny playing super well right now, and I don't know if Dan can keep up. He's also playing super freely. Uh, because, again, Danim is just...
letting a lot of things go. So it's giving Kenny a lot of confidence. Okay, that's a good punish. Oh, second guess it again. To. He wanted to go for it, but he just thought too much. That that one was a little bit weird, to be fair. Yeah. It was it was a little further out. Oh uh, yeah. man, is this it? He's gonna follow him down. Oh. Up there, not gonna take it. Derp. <laughs> Big heads. Throw. Yep. That's it. Three zero. Kenny Poo. Danim and losers. Kenny, please. Oh, that's a heartbreaker for Dan. He's Am gonna I up? bounce back. Yeah, you're up. Okay. Station one, can I get second B versus Dread? 